When we're looking at injuries in the neck or the shoulder, we often need to also consider the movement in the mid-back because they all work as a single complex. For example, when our arm comes back, winding up behind our head, we also get a degree of thoracic rotation through there. So part of the testing that we like to put athletes through is looking at their thoracic mobility and see if they hit the standards that we like. Quick test for that, seated down so you have your hips locked off. I like to put my hands behind my head and keep them loose. Pull the elbows back as tight as we can, popping the chest out. From here, we side bend without lifting our hip. Side bend as far as we can. And we like to see this top elbow get to vertical. And then holding this position, we're gonna rotate forward as far as we can. And we like to see this bottom elbow get to about 45 degrees forward. The way the joints are oriented in the mid-back, as we side bend, we also get a degree of rotation. So this test looks at both. Test yourself, see if you get to that end range. If you don't, you likely have some thoracic immobility. It'd be a good thing to work on either for injury prevention for your neck and shoulder and mid-back, or if you already have pain there, it might be a, a key target area to help get that